Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplified Guitar, and in this lesson I want to teach you the song Oceans by Hillsong United. As always, I'm going to play the song for you first, and then at the end I'm going to break it down and explain it to you in more detail, so be sure to stick around for that. Now let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Above the waves, 
When oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace. For I am yours, and you are mine. All right, so for this song, we're going to be using five chords from the C chord family. We have the C chord, the F over C chord, which is a nice F alternative for the C chord family. Uh, and then we have the A minor 7, and we have G, and then we have a D minor, and that's thrown in at, in the bridge towards the end of the song. It's important to keep in mind for that D minor and for the F over C, we want to start our strumming on the D string, so we're not going to be strumming the E or the A string for those two chords. Also for the C and the A minor 7, we want to start our strumming on the A string, and we're not going to be strumming that uh, low E string, okay? Uh, the only time we're ever going to strum the low E string is for the G chord. You'll notice throughout the song that uh, there is a G thrown in between an A minor and a C, okay? Um, and that G lasts for a very short amount of time. It's actually only lasting for half of a measure, and it's coming at the, um, at the end of a measure before we get to a new measure. So what's happening is we're playing that uh, A minor 7, okay? Uh, we play it for one and a half measures, and then the second half of that second measure, we're switching to that G just for two beats, for beat three and four, and then we're switching back to the C, okay, for uh, the beginning of a new measure. So let me play it for you and count it out so that you can hear what's happening. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. You might need to practice that part uh, that slow in the beginning just to get used to it so it doesn't trip you up while you're trying to play the song. For the strum pattern for this song, we're using the driving pattern, which is a simple four beat strum pattern where you've got four down strums with an up strum added after beat four, and then that pattern repeats. We're also gonna be adding emphasis on beats one and three. So every other beat we wanna strum harder, and on two and four we're gonna strum softer just to add some dynamics to the pattern. So if I hold my C chord and play through that strum pattern slowly, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, one. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care.